We live in a modern democracy. Yeah. <laughs> and the people yeah. say yeah. Oh, something, but the boss. <laughs> you go <there>. Very good. Dann mache ich nicht so viel Spaß. It's the most beautiful for all the holiday what you can see here. The most beautiful for our your holiday for all the week. You can see here. You see it? No? No? Yes, up in the, the mountains. It's, just... it's the most beautiful thing for all the holiday what you can see here. Yeah, I see Do you, you see it? Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, you okay. So I help you. The sun is shining. Okay. <laughs> good, good. I think it was that one. Uh, the Romans, they have uh, make uh, stones and we make Stockholm to Kiens 2,000 kilometers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Those here, they are miles. Mm -hmm. Romans in miles. L, 50, X, 10, V. No, five, 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 five and one, one. 50, 60, 65, 67, 6, 67. 67 miles to uh, Aguntum, Lienz in Austria. It's a Wir <laughs> 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 sind alle Anti-Alkoholiker. Fick da! least one of my favorites. Below us, the village of Cortina. There are many uh, ski lifts here around, of course, in winter. There's a lot of skiing going on, as you can imagine.
and in June, July, they have red flowers. There is a red and a white variety, but here mostly the red ones. And the farmers, when they went to the market, walking, of course, they, they picked up some of these flowers and put them on their heads. Again, the view is becoming more and more breathtaking as we climb up. Then there is uh, one in the west, in a valley in the west of South Tyrol, and one in the east. So all the gates, the, the so to say gates into South Tyrol were provided with such a, a memorial. Ja, då är vi och många andra då på vår högsta höjd på den här resan, 2240 meter. Men det finns ju några meter till att bestiga om man så vill. Men det gör vi någon annan dag. Each mountain here has had its name. Sometimes the names cannot be translated. What have you for glass? Citron, that's the beat. They were traveling people, so they knew and they spread the news and they, uh, they clothed the, the news into songs. So they were singing the news and so on, and also ballads and stories and tales. And uh, yesterday we passed through Grödental, and there were two famous ones. One was Ulrich uh, from Wolkenstein, and the other one was Walter von der Vogelweide. Uh, which is the man, uh, the statue of standing there to commemorate the different saints, but uh, different uh, moments of the biographies, uh, which is called, as you may know, people uh, Pauper home in Latin, which means that in those times when not everybody uh, was com compelled to go to school and be able to read, they could uh, see the pictures and understand.
in the 13th century under the Lords of Taufers. You know that the village is called Sankt in Taufers, okay? <laughs> and they built uh, three important parts of the castle. It was the highest tower here, then the living palace, <coughs> and at the end also the granary. But unfortunately, about 100 years later, the Lords of Taufers died out. And so the castle was given to the Habsburgs. You've heard about them, right? And you know that the Habsburgs had a lot to do in Europe, and so they w did not want to live here. So they gave the castle to several noble families as a landing, let's say it like this. And the noble families began to build these whole parts you can see here. They lived in the castle until the 1700s. But later we are also going to see and to hear how they did condemn people to death. But first of all, no worries, we have to take a look at the table with the inlays. If you come a little closer, um, you can see that there's written debate. We have numbers here. It's one, six, two, zero. So it's 1620. Don't confuse it with 2016, okay? And then we've also got three heraldic symbols. It's the eagle here in the English. You can see it, it's the eagle of the Dukes of Tyrol. And then, yeah, there were several methods to torture people in the Middle Ages, but there's one of them which is very famous. They took off the shoes, they put salt on the feet, and through the door they let goats in. Okay, the goats like the salt and they lick it off the feet. <laughs> yeah, at the beginning it may sound a, a bit funny, but the problem is that the goats have a really rough tongue. Okay, so they did not just lick off the salt, but also the skin. Yeah, and at, uh, sooner or later, at some point, everyone confessed to everything. Okay, so now it's your turn to confess. <laughs> what did you do? Only the short list, okay? We don't have a lot of time. Everything. Everything. Ooh, that's not good. So, yeah, if they confess, it depends on what they've done. If they've done only a little thing, let's say they stole something from the neighbor, that's not that big of a deal. So they were only put in the prison here, okay? But if they did something really bad, like everything, they were brought to the central place in the village and they were decapitated in public. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, 
Call a taxi. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you're very lucky because we don't have the high aristocracy anymore in the okay. castle, okay? And we don't have any goats here, so don't worry. And now um, it's uh, your wife's turn. She can decide if you want to leave him here <laughs> until tomorrow morning or you want to bring him now. Because we've, all, we've also lost another husband today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, so this is your chance. Okay? You can, I, want, I want him back. You want him back. So South Tyrol, surrounded in the year 1309, and they are the, 30, the 32nd generation of the family Riegel now. But Riegel is not only a winery, they have also this, they are hectares, they say, their own grapes. So they have around 30 hectares of grapes in their family, plus four that they are buying of uh, the southern power. From the farmers. From the farmers around here. So that's around 70 hectares we are producing yearly. So, so this part here is the barrique part, but the name barrique is just the name of the size of these barrels here. So we are talking about 225 liters a barrel. Also the barrels, these barrique barrels, are still getting produced in France by hand and out of uh, oak. Oak, I think I'm sure. Sure, sure. It's not only for the ice here. Depends how you use it, maybe it has uh, later on. It's a great Oh, look, the hell is that shut up? All that's you to roll in. The other one are not active but passive and you know are shaped like a cube. Mm -hmm. They are called uh, folk, folk, big mm -hmm. And Saracenia and of different species. And these do you know how this plant is called? Not in Latin is uh, an alocasia, but in common languages is it called, uh, is it called elefant, orecchie di elefante, ah, so elefant ear. Elefant ear.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Att de i Wien betalar försäkringen för att få statyn. Vi betalar vattnet och brunnen av de andra figurerna. Alltså nästa gång kommer en 20 år kanske vi har statyn sen. Mm. 